I was told to come here to activate my network log on. You must be that new whiz kid we have down in finance. Uh, well, I wouldn't put it like that. Well, I'm sure you'll fit right in. You already set up your password. That's good. Uh, now we just need to set up some security questions. Uh, these are questions that the system will ask you if you ever get locked out of your account. These should be questions that you would know the answer to, but that most people wouldn't. You probably set up security questions like these for your email, online banking, that kind of thing. No problem. Great. Here's the old standby. What is your mother's maiden name? Oh, I actually don't know. I was uh, an orphan and adopted by a widower, raised by that man. I see. Uh, well, we won't use that one then. Uh, what was the name of your first pet? Uh, no pet. Really? No, I grew up in New York City. There was no room for pets. I could make up a fake one if you want and just use that. No, no, no. It's got to be true. You'd probably forget a fake answer. Okay. Who was the best man at your wedding? Uh, not married. Never married? Uh, no. Uh, I have a girlfriend. She's a poet. Hmm. What was the name of the church you attended as a child? Uh, none. My family wasn't religious, uh, especially after my dad remarried. Oh, so your dad did remarry? Yeah. Well, let's go back to that first one then. What was your stepmother's maiden name? Oh, I should have said he came out as a homosexual and married a man. So remarried, yes, but maiden name, no. Who was your date to your senior prom? No prom. I went to a fine arts magnet school. What was the name of your first dormitory hall at college? Didn't go to college. I'm self-taught. Who was your first employer? You guys would be. I worked for myself until you bought my one-man company. What was the make and model of your first car? I grew up in New York City. I didn't have a car. In your current car, then? Oh, I don't need one. I just walk or bike to a light rail. You did that today to come here? Yeah. There's a station like eight blocks from here. Seems pretty far. I don't mind. Well, we're running pretty low on questions here. In what year did you and your family first visit Disney World? We were Bush Gardens people. Do you rent or own your home? Oh, I'm an unpaid house sitter for a professor of classics. Uh, interesting guy. I don't need to he know. What's your astrological sign? Ophiasis. Sorry? Uh, the 13th sign they discovered a couple years ago? Turns out that's what I've been all along. Hmm. Well, it only lets me enter one of the original 12. Do you remember which one you wore before they discovered the new sign? Nah, I wasn't interested. You don't remember what sign you are? No, never paid attention. Not until I saw that Newsweek article and I was like, that's me. Okay. I'm playing with the settings here. As it turns out, we can add a new question just for you. Oh. Great. So what is a question that you would have the answer to? Mm. Oh, uh, in what European city did you first kiss a stranger? Okay, and the name of the city? Interlaken, Switzerland. Okay. Two A's, umlaut over the second A. Okay, and there you go. Uh, there's uh. actually no foreign characters allowed in the system, so I entered the A without an umlaut. But uh, when that's you, a different interlock, and well, I wouldn't be, think to type that in. It won't be, but I have different emotional it, it won't associations you with that. So I, just, if I couldn't enter the characters. umlaut, I'd get discouraged and walk away forever. Fine, just two dots. How about in a, what literary magazine were you first published? Great. The name of the magazine. Password. Password is the one answer that the system will not accept. It's um, stupid. Well, it's not stupid. It's, it's so dumb. that you can receive it. They're, dumb. they're not dumb. It makes sense. Can I make up one for you? Sure. Would that bother you? Not at all. I'm just going to make up one for you, okay? Great. Okay, what's your favorite movie? Never seen a movie. How? Well, my dads were against it, and then after a while, not seeing one became a point of pride. You said you had a girlfriend? Yes. What's her name? It's a glyph, a birdman carrying a pot. That's what she signs as her name? Yeah, she just draws the... Yeah. How do you pronounce that? Ayo! What is your body's preferred physical medium to exist in such that it can absorb oxygen? Let me think. Not air. I'm afraid we have to let you go. Oh, that's understandable. Good luck to you. You as well. If you're looking for lunch, there's a great place across oh, the I've street. Oh, I've never had lunch. Really? Never? Hi, I'm Rob Michael Hugo from UCB. If you like that video, check out these videos right here and hit subscribe. Do it!